Hello everyone. Uh, if you remember in Cisco Packet Tracer series, we are doing the port fast. Last time we done that one. So now we are doing the question number three. This is a question number three. In this one, uh, they ask us to enable the Ether channel between the switch three and switch four by using LSCP. Okay. We are going to use the LSCP protocol, or we are going to do the Ether channel configuration. If you remember, LSCP is a open standard. You can uh, use this in any switch, not only in Cisco. You can use in Juniper, Hawaii, whatever switch, any vendor switch is available. You can do this LSCP. Okay, PAGP is for Cisco, so we can do PAGP only in the Cisco. But anyhow, here no theory, only the configuration and the labs in this series we are doing. So now what we will do? We will do the configuration of this one. So this is a question number three and given switch three and switch four. So let me rename this one as a switch three and switch four. If you see here, I will give switch three and this is a switch four here. This is a switch four. And if you see, you have the uh, port here F0 by two, F0 by three, same thing F0 by two, F0 by three here. So I will disable the port so we can easily observe what is going on in between here. If you see one port is working, if you see here, this uh, this is a root bridge already we know that one we discuss in our ccna this is a root bridge that is a king switch so a king switch we port will be always in the forward so this is all green but here you have this green and this is uh, red embert because this is disable because this link is creating loop in the network so now we need to configure the ether channel ether channel we use to bundle this one multiple physical interface into one logical interface so we will bundle this one and we will make this one as a one so all ports will work so we will have the good bandwidth as well as we will have the redundancy in our network so what we need to do first of all you need to remember fast ethernet 0 by 2 and 0 by 3 we are using they ask us to configure the ether channel by using lacp so let's go and do this one so i am inside the console of the switch 3 so how we will do we will go in the global configuration mode then first of all let me change the name also switch name this is a switch 3 so i change the host name now i need to go inside that interface which interface we want to make as a ether channel ether channel you understand right ether channel is nothing but uh, like grouping the multiple physical interface into one logical interface okay so what i will do i will write interface fast ethernet 0 by 2 dash or if you don't know you can do here you can write show do show ip interface brief and you can observe which interface is up here and you know your end device is connected to this interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 you know that your end device that is a machine that is a pc server printer scanner whatever the end device is, is connected to the port fast ethernet 0 by 1 and other two ports are available this is a port this port is up this port is up that is a, that is a fast ethernet 0 by 2 and 0 by 3 so this is our two port we use so we need to use this one so what i will do i will write interface range why i am using the range command to uh, take the multiple interface same time okay so i will write fast ethernet 0 by 2 dash dash 3 so with this command we selected multiple interface and we are configuring the ether channel between the two switch so it is better to make as a trunk because we are going to use this one uh, for multiple vlan so it is better we should have the trunk okay so with this command i create the trunk so switch port more trunk is used to create the trunk now we need to do the ether channel configuration so ether channel configuration what we will do we will write the channel we will write the channel channel then protocol and which protocol they ask in our question if you see in our question which protocol it is available in the question number three lacp so we need to write here lacp okay so in the protocol i will write lacp and then press enter after that i need to create the channel guru channel uh, what we can say channel group so i will write channel group we can give any number i will give group one and mode and if you remember we have different modes in the lacp we have active and passive you need to keep active active or active passive but don't keep passive passive if you keep passive passive both the side it will not activate okay so anyhow i am using the active so if you want to configure the ether channel by using lacp just follow this configuration it will work if you need more detail in this one 
you can whatsapp us or you can watch our youtube series that is ccna 200-301 okay with this one we create the ether channel and if you want to check uh, what how we can check first of all i will save the configuration then write show uh, spanning tree vlan 1 okay so if you see here still it is not come here i will write show ether channel summary if you see here we have this one okay this is a port 01 and if you see s s means here capital s where i have s so it is suspended and down because only we, we configure in this switch but we did not configure in this switch okay so when we configure in this switch it will work okay and if you see this port is ambert color so when we configure the same configuration in this switch also it will start working it will become green okay so let me do the same configuration in switch 4 so i will go to the switch 4 i will here i will uh, go in the global configuration mode then i will first of all let me change the host name i will write this is a switch 4 after that we will go to the interface range and which interface f0 by 2 dash 3 okay and then we need to make the trunk switch port that is switch mode trunk with this one we make the trunk and after that we will write channel channel protocol and which protocol lacp right and then channel uh, channel group you can use any group there we use one here we can use two but anyhow i will use same group and mode we can give we use for the switch three we use active for switch four we can use passive it will work you need to remember in both switch you should not use passive so here we can use active or we can use passive no issue so i created here i will write wr to save the configuration then we can check show spanning tree if you see both the side we created the ether channel by using lscp and if you see here you have the port one that is uh, all the remaining port removed from here before if you see we have the port that is saying the fast ethernet 0 by 2 0 by 3 but now we have one logical port with the ether channel before we have two single two physical port we mix two physical port and we make as a one logical port and you if observe here if you observe here what we can say here also green here also green means all are green all are up this become one link logical one link this become logical one link by using ether channel okay by using ether channel and which protocol we use to configure lacp so i hope you know the configuration or if you are confused no problem you can whatsapp us our team will give you the configuration if you face any issue whatsapp us our our team will take care okay so this uh, uh, class we learn LACP in next class we are going to learn how we can configure the ether channel by using PA PAGP. Okay.